Hey, what's going on everybody? Pro Eclipse here and Black Ops 2 Zombies. The Revolution trailer has just been released today. I'm so excited to show you these images I took. I got some stills from the trailer just regarding zombies on Die Rise. I'll show you the uh, zombies turned game mode, new game mode tomorrow. Or you can just go watch someone else's and stay tuned for mine tomorrow. If you don't want to watch it, it's fine. But I'm going to put that video up tomorrow. I'll save that for later. But I'm going to talk about Die Rise first because uh, I, I'm so excited about Die Rise. And I can't wait to show you these images. So the first one we have here is, I believe, the first zombie you see. And if I'm not mistaken, it looks like Marlton from Transit slash Nuketown. He's not really in Nuketown. He's in the Fall Shelter, quote-unquote. But anyway, he's from Transit. Here's a picture of him if you don't know who he is or what he looks like. He kind of has the same exact little flash back and forth here in a little bit. Here you can see he has this, like the exact same collared shirt. He has the rolled-up sleeves, white shirt. He has, the I think, the same pants. He has the exact same tie, it looks like, except for his blood stain. He lost his glasses and his facial hair. But he does have the same exact hair it looks like, and maybe he lost his watch. But he looks turned. He I freaking looks like a zombie. I mean, I don't know. Um, that's going to be insane if he's turned into a zombie. I don't know how that happened. Um, but that would be insane. Next picture here, we can see Misty standing um, atop this rubble. And there's a character below her, a couple levels down. Looks like Rustman, and to the left is Stoolinger there, fighting out a couple zombies. So there's going to be tons of levels. And they introduced verticality in this map because it's going to be skyscrapers and there's going to be elevator shafts and everything. It's going to be awesome. So the next picture is in the, look, looks to be a sweatshop because there's sewing machines everywhere. And you can see Misty, Stuhlinger, and Rustman. We still don't see Marlton for some reason. I don't know what's going on, but you see Misty with an M16 there. And then next picture, you can see the skyscraper. What they said is there's basically going to be a couple size scra uh, excuse me, skyscrapers like falling down, crumbled next to each other, against each other. Like, just imagine a bunch of rockets hitting the earth and all the skyscrapers are leaning against each other so you can hop from one skyscraper to the other. That would be awesome. I'm not sure if you go on the ground. I don't think you can. But I'm sure there's going to be tons and tons of space inside the skyscrapers. And maybe even on the roofs you're probably going to be able to go. So that's going to be awesome to see. Here you can see... Um, uh, they're up above inside the elevator shaft, and I'm sure if you fall down there, you're gonna die. It's like this chasm, this pit of just death, and if you fall down there, you're probably gonna die. And I know that's kind of happened to many people, and I'm gonna try to avoid that first first thing. I'm gonna go into the game and check where not to go, not to fall into any elevator shaft. So he's gonna jump down there. That's the next shot, and um, in the trailer, so you can see here a huge skyscraper, or a huge building right there, and right below it is um or right above it excuse me is like a meteor crashing down here i'll go to the next image you can see a meteor top right and these huge skyscrapers i don't know if they're going to be out of the map they're just for a show or if they're actually in the map next image is the meteor coming down i don't know if it's going to be like nuketown where the meteors or perks rather crash and hit at random locations or it's just like an effect because uh, we're going to have a meteor shower i think hex zombies actually hex from hex gameplay or hex zombies predicted that it's going to be a meteor shower in the next map if so, if that's Meteor Shower, then he's awesome. At, he's definitely awesome at predicting. I'll put a link in his channel just because I mentioned him. So go watch his videos, and uh, he makes really good predictions on the zombie maps. Anyway, shout out to him. Next image here, we have Zombie with blue eyes, and it uh, looks just like a regular uh, civilian with a sports shirt on or something. His animation looks great on that zombie, and you can see behind him Skyscraper. And uh, this one, you can see a zombie just standing atop a ledge. I don't know if they're going to be able to take uh, extreme fall damage. If they fall down multiple levels, probably not, but we'll see. Next image is of Stuhlinger and Rustman. Again, it looks like Rustman has the Remington shotgun, it looks like, and Stuhlinger has the Colt M1911. And you can see it's kind of like in that Chinese sweatshop, a little corridor place. There you go, Misty and Rustman inside. Um, you know, just it looks, it looks awesome. I mean, I don't see any fog really so far, so I'm excited about that. In this image, you can't really see it too well, but right behind Misty is the power switch. I didn't get a good shot of this one, but you can see a fan over there. I'm not sure if that's just for detail or that's going to be buildable in the future. I'm looking forward to that. And so we know where the power is right now. If you're in this room, yeah, the power is right behind Misty. Next image, you can see the military zombies, um, Chinese military zombies. It looks like you see Rust Man. Um, and the only other one you can see is Misty's gun, Misty's M16 right there, and that's about it. You can see the sewing machines and stuff. So this is going to be cool to play in. Uh, next one is a picture of the elevator shaft and when they're editing the map and stuff, and this looks really awesome. I mean, it's just going to be an amazing map to play. There's going to be so many stories on the skyscraper. And if you jump down, you're definitely going to die from that fall, and you're probably just going to, you know how they have a lava pit in transit. It's going to be probably like that, but just an elevator shaft is... It's just really cool to uh, to be playing inside. Here you go. Here's another shot of it. And it looks like it just goes out. I don't know if this is like looking up 
like if you're looking up into the sky or this is looking down. This is probably looking down because you can probably jump on that um, little like ledge right there to the left of that door. Maybe it's looking from the bottom up. I'm not sure. You decide that. Next image is of this room that looks pretty good for rape training. Not sure how good, but this is where they mention the MC Esker. Uh, I didn't mention him too much. I was actually going to make a video about him. I might still do that, but MC Esker or Esker or whatever you want to pronounce his name. He's a painter and does really awesome stuff. And he actually made a painting called the Tower of Babel, which I'll, I go into in um, more depth in another video. But they said that it's basically going to be like confusing. Like it's going to, it all has to do with perspective and stuff. Like look like one of his paintings actually that he called the Up and Down. It's where all the staircases are like, I'll have to show you a picture in this video. There'll probably be one on the screen right now because I don't have it up right now. But all the staircases are going... Uh, against each other and reflecting and going upside down. It's really cool and it's like confusing. So it's this is probably this is gonna be map look like it's gonna be awesome and it's gonna confuse you if you don't really pay attention. So this one looks awesome, like the upside down staircase. There we're not gonna know like is this actually upside down or is this the other way up? So, so I don't even know. It looks confusing. I mean the chairs are there, but you never know. I don't know if this is sideways or this is. It's all confusing. So this is awesome. I can't wait to play this map and especially explore those areas. Next image you see Misty M16 uh, upgrade it looks like, so we definitely have a pack punch of this map, no doubt about it, and uh, I don't know where it's going to be, probably on the roof, but I mean that would probably be the hardest place to get to, or maybe the bottom floor, if there is even a bottom floor, I'm not sure how many floors, but it's got to be a big map if it's in a bunch of skyscrapers, it's just going to be awesome either way, so you have the Skull Crusher there and Misty running through the halls, here you go, you have Rustman on the right, Stuhlinger on the left, you have some nice looking zombies there. Next image again, we see the zombie that looks like Marlton. Why? I just don't know why he keeps showing up. I don't know. Are they trying to hint at something? Is that really Marlton? I mean, it looks exactly like Marlton. Look at his tie. It's like the exact same thing. The shirt, the tie, it's boom, right there. Just like, it's, I, don't know what it, I don't know what it is. It just keeps popping at him. It's like screaming Marlton. Here's another picture of Marlton again if you forgot what he looks like in a couple of minutes. But uh, that's all the zombie footage that they had in the images, except for the new game mode called Turn, which I'll be covering in a video tomorrow. So stay tuned for that video if you're excited about to see the new game turn, new game mode turned. And that's all I have for Doris right now. I'll be putting out a video about um, that one guy, MC Esker, and because uh, he's exciting to uh, talk about. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I really had a lot of fun watching the trailer over and over and over, like I did a thousand times. Take all these pictures and just looking at this stuff. Tell me if you guys think that is Marlton, because personally I do. Maybe uh, maybe he actually got turned. Maybe he sacrificed himself and teleported the rest of the group to China. I don't know why that would be, uh, maybe that was his, maybe that was the coordinates on his watch. Who knows, maybe he was planning to go to China or maybe someone sent them to China. Who knows how they got there because they didn't just go from transit to China unless transit is in China, but I doubt it. Um, I don't see any lava so far on this map and I don't see any fog, so that's a good thing. And that's it, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the video tomorrow. Um, yeah, have a great day, peace.